All right, here's another I Can Read book. I Can Read shared my first reading, and it's Pete the Cat. Sir Pete the Brave. Look at this cute dragon. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. And Pete, what does it say on his shield? It says C A T, Cat, by James Dean. Look at that white castle. That's pretty cool. Do you think the dragon's going to be naughty? We'll see. I can read. Shared my first reading. Pete the cat is the bravest knight in all the land. Follow Pete in this epic quest to find a dragon. We're going to find a dragon. So this book comes from Harper. It's part of the HarperCollins Publishers. And their website is www.icanread.com. And this is also available at www.petethecatsbooks.com. So, by James Dean. Mm -hmm. It says, hooray! And then there's a line for someone who owns the book to put their name in it can read this book and this talks about different things the my first is good for shared reading basic language word repetition and whimsical illustrations whimsical is like silly or fun ideal for sharing with your emergent reader to say when people are learning to read oh look she's riding on the dragon I think that's Callie. Alrighty. I can read my first reading. Pete the Cat, Sir Pete the Brave, Riding a Horse by James Dean. Meet Sir Pete, the bravest knight in the land. Ooh. Got a big axe and big long boots, and long red tuft on top of his outfit. Sir Pete rides a horse and climbs towers. Oh, is Lady Callie stuck in a tower? I wonder. At dinner, Sir Pete listens to Lady Callie play the harp. Ding, 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 ding. Lady Callie is awesome. Bravo, Sir Pete yells at the end of each song. He claps louder than anyone. Oh, he's so happy. Look, they're all clapping. There's an apple. Is that an egg? Kind of looks like an egg. Interesting. A chicken leg, some peas. We each have a drink. So they're all having dinner while she plays music. One night, while Lady Callie plays beautifully, someone casts a spell. Ding, 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 ding. And everyone falls asleep, even Sir Pete. Oh no, he fell asleep. What's going to happen now? I like his sleeping face. Look at his little scrunchy eyes. So cute. Uh oh. The next morning, Lady Callie is gone. Oh no, says Lady Sir Pete the Brave. Because I should give him a voice, huh? Oh no. I will help Lady Callie and save her. Giddy up. Oh, there's her shield. C A T, cat. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Sir Pete falls in a hole. The hole is a dragon's footprint. Hmm, I wonder which way the footprints go. Do you think these are the toes? Oh, how many footprints are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Follow the footprints. 
Sir Pete says to his horse. Well, that's a well-trained horse that he can just tell it where to go. Okay. Did we follow the footprints? Did I skip a page? That's 13. Yep, no, 14. There's numbers on the page, so you can see how far you've gone. The footprints stop. Where did the dragon go? Sir Pete looks up and sees the dragon flying across the lake with Lady Callie and her harp. Oh my goodness, they're flying. Sir Pete can't fly, but he can row. Look, he's going to row in a boat. Across the lake he goes. I guess the horse had to wait. Too big for the boat. Sir Pete sees a dragon cave. <sighs> he has to go inside, but it is very dark. Oh my. Are you afraid of the dark? When I was little, I used to be afraid of the dark. Who knows what's in there? And in this case, there's probably a dragon. Goodness. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> then he hears music. He must save Lady Callie. He won't be scared. See? Bravery is doing something in spite of being scared. Even though you're scared. He finds a harp, but no, Lady Callie. Hmm. Hmm. Where is she? Sir Pete will not give up. He climbs the highest hill. He looks around for Lady Callie. Then he hears a loud growl. Sir Pete is scared. Hmm, is that a hill he's on, do you think? That certainly looks a little suspicious, doesn't it? It's a little red to be a hill. Usually hills are brown or green, or maybe gray if they're stone. Let's see. <gasps> oh my goodness, the hill starts to move. Sir Pete is on the dragon's back <gasps> oh no and look he could fit inside that dragon's mouth in one gulp oh, well, hopefully that doesn't happen let's see <gasps> sir pete knows what to do he slides down 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 the dragon's back the dragon sees pete and roars sir pete says lady kathy I will save you. Oh, Lady Cal is going to come save Pete. He does seem like he's in danger. Save me, says Sir Pete, but I came to save you. Sir Pete and Lady Callie start to argue. The dragon starts to cry. <laughs> oh, he's crying. I just wanted to sing along. The dragon sobs. <laughs> I did not want to hurt anyone. <laughs> I have an idea, says Sir Pete. Will you give us a lift? Hmm, the light bulbs are ideas. He's thinking, thinking, thinking. The dragon flies Sir Pete and Lady Callie home. Everyone is happy to see them. Oh, okay. You don't need a great voice to make music, says Sir Pete. Just good friends. The dragon joins the song. Three cheers for Lady Callie and for Sir Pete the Brave. Now, even though he didn't fight the dragon, he's brave because he faced his fears of going into something scary. He went to go save Miss Cow, Lady Cowley, and go into that dark cave, even though it was scary. And, well, 
don't go on big adventures without a trusted adult, but there's plenty of little things that you can do to be brave. Solve a misunderstanding and figure things out. Well, I enjoyed that book. Hopefully you did too. Thanks so much for listening and you have a great day.